Kayla Crook. We're at the Barstool Fieldhouse getting ready to start the Credit for Life Fair sponsored by Cape Cod 5. Soon the students will be running around trying to budget the rest of their lives. Let's see how it goes. turning 18, really going into the real world. They gotta know this stuff. So we're getting out there, we're getting involved in the community now, and I just think it's a great organization. So far, my career is still set on engineering. Uh, see, it's my, it uh, holds my interest really well. I love math, I love science. I love the money that's involved with it too, so uh, you know, I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, I'm here to support the senior class as the senior advisor and uh, kind of walk you through a couple of things that I've experienced uh, being out in the real world and having my own occupation. And uh, It's kind of neat to see the different breakdowns of occupations and salaries and how that goes into what you can buy and purchase when you get older. <laughs> My name is Bernie Fox, and I run BK Real Estate in Sunnyvale. I try to help the kids decide which kind of housing they want, get across to them that the more people they live with, the cheaper it is, but they have to make sure that they can get along with their roommates and that the roommates will pay. I would think it's a pretty good experience for them trying to balance a budget and stuff. we got a few people come back and have to renegotiate where they're going to live because they found out that the rest of their expenses were too high. Yeah, I pretty much learned by trial and error. You know, we didn't have something like this when I was a kid. So you do learn, you know. And the, the biggest thing is you just try to keep your expenses down, and that's what you learn after a while. You know, is that less is more. You know, and if you can get by with your car for a little longer, you do that. I'm Gabe Vader, and I'm a physician. Uh, yeah, I learned that you need to put some money away in your retirement as well as keeping some in your savings for emergencies. I learned that it costs a lot of money to go to school and you'll have a lot of loans. I learned that apparently you need to buy a $300 suit to do anything. Um, and I learned that cars are really pricey. Yeah, I'm Pat Walsh, I'm the training manager at Cape Cod 5, and Kathy and I coordinate the credit for life fairs at the high schools. Well, first of all, the students are taking it very seriously, which is just amazing. They are seriously considering their options. We try to tempt them in the luxury booth, and they're not going for it. Um, in real life, they might, but here, where they're thinking ahead into the future, I think they're really taking some serious thought into what expenses and what things cost. So uh, it's, it's ama they're amazing. They're great students. Uh, the biggest lesson I learned, don't spend more than you have. Uh, than you do. And it's, you have to really prioritize what do you really need as opposed to what you really want. And I think the students are doing a great job of that today. Uh, one thing definitely that was a reality check was just getting all my funds together and actually, you know, thinking maybe this isn't the right occupation for me because what I want to pursue and what I want to do in life it's not supporting that with my financial means, with my occupation that I chose. So that's definitely, definitely a reality check. Um, honestly, it really, like I said personally, I, I had my occupation in mind, but now I'm thinking about an alternative to support myself in a way that I can do the things that I want to do and a little bit extra. So maybe that's what they're getting out of this as well. You know, it's finding their occupation that they want and seeing. 
you know, maybe this is what I really, really want to do. It supports me, or you know, maybe this isn't the smartest decision. So that's what I think this is really beneficial for. And you get to meet a lot of people, and in life, it's all about connections. So. Oh, my God.